Hello again. Um, in this video, uh, I'd like to show you a handy little tool um, that you can get for free, which will help anybody that is struggling to boot into Windows because they have multiple viruses and uh, viruses that affect uh, the booting of the machine. So the tool that we're going to be looking at is called Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10. So if you just Google it, go to the top one, it takes you to Kaspersky's website, uh, download Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10, and then some, there in the text you can see you can download the distributive of Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10 from the, the, the Kaspersky Lab servers. So just hit that link there and straight away you get the download you get the ISO ready to download. So burn that to a CD and what you're going to do is you're going to boot the machine and you're going to boot to the disk. Uh, the, the Kaspersky Rescue disk is actually a Linux distribution so it's going to it's going to boot into a live environment. Uh, you basically get a desktop uh, you get a file browser, so you can you can um, recover files um, from a from a broken PC. Um, you get a web browser, so you can actually surf the web. Even though the um, the Linux distribution isn't installed, it's just running in a live environment. You can still use it as if it is a working PC. Uh, but the main tool that you get on the desktop is the Kaspersky antivirus program. So what I'll do is I'll boot from my disk, I've got my disk here, I'll boot from the disk and I'll come back to you when I'm, uh, when I'm in the setup ready, ready to uh, boot into the live environment. Okay so I've booted from the disk and I've pressed uh, to, boot from, to boot from the CD, sorry. And when you're presented with this first screen, Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10, you get 10 seconds to press any key to load up the menu. So you get the language options. I'm going to select English, even though my English isn't perfect. So this is the uh, license agreement. I never bother reading that stuff. Uh, at the bottom there it says press 1 to accept the agreement. So press 1. OK, and now you get these options. Uh, the first one is what we want, uh, the Kaspersky Rescue Disk Graphic Mode. So that is basically going to load a desktop environment uh, with a few icons on. <coughs> so I'll just wait for it to boot into the live environment. Like I said, it is a Linux distribution. Uh, some Linuxes take a while to load up. Others just take a couple of minutes. You have a progress bar loading at the bottom. So obviously if, you, if your computer's got viruses that are stopping it from booting up, obviously you're going to have to do this on another laptop, uh, another computer. So grab, grab your friends or your, your wife's or your children's laptop and download Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10. I think we're ready to load into the uh, desktop environment now. Shouldn't be too much longer now, there we go. So, like I said, this isn't installing. It's not installed on the hard drive. It's just it, it loads the information from the disk into memory, into RAM. So what we see here on the screen is just loaded into RAM. It's just like a regular desktop. You get the clock, uh, your language. 
and your network you can see your network there so you are you are connected to the internet so you can do what you want online there's your file manager sorry about the, uh, the picture quality I've just changed my ROM on my Android phone and it's not very good so now we're presented with this uh, menu this is the actual antivirus that's um, that's ready to run um, but first we need to update the virus definitions so go to my update center and click start update so once the definitions have updated we'll then run the scan and if it finds anything it will quarantine it and then hopefully you should be able to reboot back into Windows the icons that you get on the desktop are the web browser Kaspersky Rescue Disk a registry editor a file manager and the, those three folders there are your mounted uh, drives obviously I've got a C drive, a D drive and the SDB1 I think that is just the file system that um, Kaspersky Rescue Disk is using right now and that's basically all you get so this, this update might take a while it's only at 1% so I'll come back once it's at 100% um, I just wanted to let you know that um, the uh, the definitions update does take a while um, I don't know if you can make that out there but we're 13 minutes into the update so far and it's only 4 to 6 percent so do bear that in mind you have to be patient but it's well worth it in the end okay we're back um, the update <coughs> took roughly 30 35 minutes uh, but we're now fully up to date so the next step is to go to the object scan tab and now you tick which hard drives you want to uh, scan so I'm going to say C uh, leave them two that are ticked by default just just uh, leave them because it's going to scan the boot sectors and the hidden startup objects so that's all good so now you just click start objects scan And that's it. Um, antivirus scans can take anything from 10 minutes to up to a couple of hours, but uh, it depends on the size of your C drive. Um, but I'll come back to you once the scan is complete. Okay, so that's the uh, scan finished. Uh, it took around 45 minutes to do the scan. Um, so now I'm going to go to the quarantine to see whether it found anything. I'm guessing not because uh, this morning uh, I did a fresh install of Windows 7 so as you can see there the quarantine is empty but if you've got viruses that are stopping your PC from starting uh, they would show up in there in that box so yeah I, th I thought 45 minutes was a bit long considering uh, my hard drives only 80 gigs Windows 7 takes up about 15 gigs of that and yeah it took 45 minutes uh, but I imagine it's, 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 it's a thorough scan so it is worth doing time consuming but if you if you really want that PC to to boot up uh, and you want the viruses rid of then Kaspersky rescue disk is the perfect tool so thanks for watching uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and that you've um, learned something from it uh, I know I'll be keeping this disc uh, safe uh, for future use, uh, so go ahead, download it from Kaspersky Rescue Disc, uh, burn it to a disc, boot from it, and don't forget to do the update of the uh, definitions, and enjoy a virus-free PC. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.